What's up guys and welcome back to another Throttle RX-7 vlog. We're just banging out the content lately. Today we've got an interesting one for you. I've decided to go ahead after a week of thinking to actually just paint the engine bay myself here at the shop. The engine is uh, going to be built this week and I want to have the bay ready to go for the engine when we're done so that I don't have to pull the engine back out again in you know a few weeks time or couple months time to repaint the bay so I went ahead and uh, actually after a lot of consideration with Ricky and myself we decided we're gonna go ahead and do a kind of a DIY how to uh, shoot your engine bay at home or from your shop with uh, regular stuff that guys can can go buy at the store instead of having to have a big air compressor and all that stuff which we do have and we could spray through a gun but we're not going to we're actually gonna do rattle can so I did a bunch of research on some product that we could use. Uh, I looked at some product from Eastwood. Unfortunately, I felt like the Eastwood product was a bit out of the price range for some people. Uh, at like $24 a can and needing probably four to eight cans, depending on what you're doing and how uh, extensive you're going. Um, I felt like that might be a little cost prohibitive for some people. So I wanted to find something that was readily available at local stores, local auto parts stores. I found a good product. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we purchased. We've spent about $60 in materials. Uh, we're probably gonna have a few hours worth of our time, but we're gonna show you guys basically how to prep and paint your engine bay use, utilizing products that are available probably at most local auto parts stores. So to begin with, I did find, after a bunch of research, a paint called VHT. And this paint is actually an epoxy based paint uh, and it's meant for actually like undercarriage and parts. So uh, what's really cool about it is it doesn't require a primer. So it's a one step coat and it's very durable. Um, it does hold up to 250 degrees uh, temperature wise. So that should be adequate. We're not gonna have this stuff resting against our engine or anything. So if we do, we'll have some sort of heat barrier in the way. Um, I think this paint's gonna be really adequate. So I've grabbed four cans of that. I think without uh, spreading ourselves too thin, four should be enough. Four cans should be enough. A can or two more, I think we should be able to find it at any auto parts store locally here. So not a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and get started by getting this engine base stripped down more than it already is. Getting everything taped off that is gonna stay in there that we're gonna shoot around and uh, get everything scuffed up so that the paint has something to adhere to. So we'll go ahead and film those processes, probably speed them up for you guys. Hopefully this is something that you've wanted to see. It's definitely a progress uh, in the right direction for the car, knowing that the engine is gonna be built and ready to go back in very soon. So I'm really excited about that. So here we go. All right, quick update. We've gone ahead and got majority of the engine bay cleaned out and gutted. The homeboy Ricky is already scrubbing the bay. My dad already scrubbed it with the power washer and by hand, but there's a lot of areas that were covered and just not adequately cleaned. So we're going back and scrubbing those with Scotch-Brite. Uh, after the Scotch-Brite cleaning is done, we'll Scotch-Brite the whole engine bay with uh, Scotch-Brite pads and then clean all the residue off at that point we can start prepping it for paint uh, this process is going pretty smooth so far thanks to my dad and ricky for helping me out because uh, doing this by myself it would take a lot longer another thing we're working on today is we are getting the calipers cleaned up so this is what they started out looking like they're pretty rough uh, we've gone ahead and disassembled the pads out of them and we are not going to actually do a rebuild on the pistons these calipers were working just fine when we removed them, so they should be good to go back in. And uh, so that's my dad's project while Ricky and I are working on the engine bay. So far, we've got a lot uh, accomplished this morning, and we're going to keep going. Right, well, while I'm over here taping off the front of this car, after we've got it all sanded down, um, my dad's already kind of cranking away on the 
brake calipers. He's got both of them cleaned up already and he's now going through the process of spraying them down with brake parts cleaner. So basically what he's doing here is getting all of the old grease and uh, funk that was left behind after he wire wheeled the brake calipers and also getting any brake um, brake fluid residue off of them as well. Went ahead and used an old set of uh, foam earplugs to plug up the, the brake line holes. So once these dry off, we're gonna let them air dry the brake parts cleaner off. Once they're dry, we'll go ahead and shoot the first coat of black paint on them. I'll show you guys that process as well. It's very simple, just like painting anything else. Uh, we're just using a specialized paint for the caliper. So I'm gonna get back to taping while he's doing that and uh, keep going forward here. All right, well, I've got the car all masked off. Um, the subframe area and transmission is masked off as much as needed to avoid overspray. Everything is prepped. It's been tack cloth and wiped down. I've been shaking the can for a while here, um, getting it ready. You want to do that for about a minute or two. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay in like a really light ghost coat over the whole entire bay. Um, just something real light that's going to dry pretty quick. It'll also give us an, an idea of uh, if there's any spots that we missed where there's a little bit of grease or dirt or anything that uh, we're going to want to clean up before we get real crazy with the paint uh, heavy. So we go ahead and get started spraying. Half of the engine bay sprayed. We're one can down, three to go. Uh, we made good progress so far. Checking in on Big Jeff over here, see what he's up to. Looks like he's already sprayed a little bit of black paint on this caliper. What happened, Dad? Uh, it was orange peeling for the second time, so I'm gonna scotch spray it this time after I do this, and hopefully do that, let it dry, and try it again. All right, so essentially he's just wiping off the old paint at the moment with some brake parts cleaner because he's getting some orange peeling on the surface, which we can't let that happen. So he's gonna go ahead and re-clean it, re-scotch bright it, and then tack cloth it again and see if uh, third time's a charm here. Got one more coat, still got a corner of red back there with just a little guide on it. The rest of the bay is pretty well shot. We're gonna go back with one more, uh, one more pass and then uh, we've got a full can to kind of build up the paint. So we're gonna let it dry between coats of, for a little while. We're gonna check in with my pop, see what's up. Oh, we got the supervisor. The supervisor is on the, uh, it. how's it looking? Pretty good. Ooh, pop. All right, so the final coat is on the engine bay. I'm really pumped with the way it turned out. I think it's uh, it's definitely within spec. Um, not too freaking bad for a garage job. It's probably the finest one I've done to this point in my life. Um, and I think a lot of it just comes down to having good prep work. So thanks to Ricky and my dad for helping out with that. Um, taking our time and not rushing it. So really pumped with the way that thing is gonna look. It makes me feel a whole lot better putting a motor back in there knowing that I don't just have to rip it out in a couple months to respray everything. The black goes with everything, that's why I chose black, so no matter what color I paint the car, it'll match. 
Shout out to my boy Nick at Falcon. He was the one that actually messaged me yesterday and said, bro, just paint the bay. You know what you're doing. Uh, he did his on his FD. I went and looked at a bunch of pictures on his Instagram last night. I was like, man, that does look really good. And um, yeah, man, for 60 bucks and a bunch of time today, I uh, went ahead and got it knocked out. So super happy with the way that's turning out. Went ahead and uh, grabbed the brake booster off the firewall as well, as you guys know. And it is uh, has seen better days. So I decided while we're at it, we've got a little extra paint left. Why not scuff up the booster and uh, get it shot as well? So I've already done that. Um, went ahead and sanded it all down. You can see at one point in time, there was uh, some brake fluid that leaked on here. I went ahead and scotch brighted that down. I'm gonna go ahead and tack cloth this real quick. Put a nice clean coat on there. It'll match the firewall. I think we're gonna be styling. Just a little update on Big Jeff's brake progress. Here are the all the pins and uh, safeties for the brakes. He's gone ahead and wire brushed all that stuff and cleaned it up. We've used um, basically this Harbor Freight six inch bench grinder for the most with a, uh, with a wire wheel on it to clean up most of the stuff on this car. And it's actually worked out really well for the minimal investment. I think the, I don't know, don't quote me, but I think the bench grinder was like 60 bucks or something and the wheel was six bucks um, it saved us a ton of time so if you guys have a harbor freight and don't mind buying stuff that's not name brand uh the bench grinder actually came in quite handy so uh here's actually how the brakes have turned out uh they are dry it feels like because i can handle them we're gonna go ahead and sand off the mazda logo but we went with a went with us a gloss black on these calipers and these are the, the Mazda Sumitomo calipers, which are very adequate for this car, being it's light, it is a four piston caliper. Um, I think the finish turned out really good. I'm looking forward to sanding the face off of this and making them look two-tone. Anyway, I think they turned out great. We're gonna go ahead and call it a day with the brakes and uh, looking forward to get back here tomorrow. We've got some packages to unpackage and some interior parts to install and some other big news to announce. So we're gonna call it a wrap on the day. Sun's still out, I'm actually gonna get out of here before uh, it's black outside, which is nice for a change. Really pumped on the progress that we made today on the engine bay. Thank you to Ricky and my dad for helping me out today. A little sneak peek of how we're gonna end it. Uh, here's the engine bay. Pretty pumped with the way it turned out. Um, everything is very, very crisp. Very happy with um, the prep work and the final spray. I'm shocked at how nice the paint turned out. I really thought the paint was gonna be way more glossy. It was a gloss black paint. It looks a little more like a semi-gloss paint, which is really nice. Um, it's not too shiny, which I was a little concerned about, but I couldn't find the satin black that I was looking for, so I did go with gloss and was just gonna deal with it. Um, all in all, super pumped with the way it turned out. Uh, I think that when everything goes back together, it's gonna look great. It's killing me, absolutely killing me to let this sit overnight and not start putting things back in the car. I wanna get this engine bay back together so that uh, I can anticipate the motor going back in. So anyway guys, thank you so much for uh, going on the journey with us today. Hopefully you learned a little something about doing an engine bay at your own house um, or in your own little shop. Uh, with rattle cans and not using an air compressor and a spray gun. Um, if you have any questions, respond in the comments section. I will do my best to respond to everybody uh, if you do have questions about how I did what I did. Uh, I'm trying to show you guys the engine bay. I'm pretty proud of the way it turned out. So hopefully you guys are stoked on it as much as I am. Thanks again for tuning in to another video about RX-7 stuff. I'm really excited. We're so close to the motor being ready and uh, making you guys some sweet video content. So thanks again for subscribing to our channel. Give us a like, leave us some comments. We appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Love you, Throttle Fam. Peace out.